Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about how to upgrade the SSD in your system by cloning your content from the existing SSD to the new SSD. In my system, the SSD is running out of space. My current SSD is 256 GB and I'm going to replace this with a 2 TB SSD. In my case, my laptop only has only one SSD port, so I can't add a new SSD. So the only solution I have in my hand is I can extend this to a bigger SSD, but in that case, I need to clone all the content whatever I have because it also has activated windows and a lot of other activated softwares so completely installing all those things is not going to be easy job so far that i'm going to clone particular ssd to the new xst by that way i will get all the softwares what i currently own and in addition to that i will get the extra space first we need to download the software macrim reflect 7 the link of which i have provided in the video so just copy the link and paste it in the browser next you need to install that particular file once the download is completed, double click the exe file. This will start the installation process. First click next and then click next here and accept the license agreement and then select home. If you don't want to register this product, make sure you are unselecting register this installation of Macrim Reflect 7. Once you have unselected, the email address will become disabled. Then click next. Here select install VM booting of Macrim backups. If you don't want a desktop shortcut, you can unselect it and click next and click install. This will start the installation process. This will take some time. Now you have successfully installed. Now if you open the software, you can able to see all the disks which is attached to our system. It can be your hard drive, SSD or your external hard disks. Here you bought Samsung 970 EVO Plus 2TB. Then you also need M2 NVMe USB-C adapter. So you need to remove the external steel case. Once you remove the external steel case, there will be a protective knob. Remove that as well. And then insert your SSD there. Make sure you are inserting in the correct way. Once you have fitted it correctly, make sure you are using that pin to secure the SSD in this adapter. Place that E sticker on top of your SSD. And once you sticked it correctly, close the steel case. If you don't have USB-C port, so here this adapter can be used to convert the USB-C to USB-P port. And once that is done, open Macrim Reflect again. Here select your primary SSD. In my case, the primary SSD is in the place disk 2 and make sure you are selecting everything. I have this many partitions in disk 2. So make sure all these boxes are checked. So once you click this disk, you will get two buttons one is clone this disk and another one is image this disk so the new ssd is in disk 5 so click clone this disk and then here select a disk to clone select the new ssd click next and then click next and then click finish this will start the copying process in my case this took close to 30 minutes click ok and click close now we are done now turn off your laptop after turning off i am opening the laptop you can able to see a ssd port there as i mentioned before my system only has a single ssd port so remove the already existing ssd carefully make sure you are not lifting it up once you unscrew it it will open at a 45 degree angle once it is 45 degree angle slide this to your left don't try to lift it up this will break your ssd spin pick your new ssd which we have copied now and then put it here now we have securely mounted our ssd to the laptop and you can use this existing ssd as external storage or you can keep it as it is as a backup so now you can able to see our system booted up correctly and it also had all the softwares before i had like Visual Studio Code in the taskbar, you can able to see the Visual Studio Code and then like Edge, everything is already there and the Windows is already activated. We don't need to install anything new. Whatever the state you are operating system was in, that will be now present in this new SSD. Now you can able to see this still shows 222 GB. Nothing to worry about. We need to move the unallocated pace to this particular C drive. To do that, 
search disk manager so if you search disk manager you can able to see create and format hard disk partitions click that now you can able to see unallocated space so the unallocated space is all the remaining gb we need to add it to the c drive if you don't want to add it to the c drive if you want to create it as a separate partition you can right click and then make it as a new partition in my case i want to add this to the existing c drive right click the c drive so if you right click the c drive you will get extend volume in my case i am not seeing the extend volume this is because i have recovery partition whenever you have a recovery partition you don't see the extend volume it is safe to delete the recovery partition this i am saying based on my experience if you don't want to play around with that my suggestion is use the unallocated space as a new drive rather than merging it to the c and if you can able to see the extend volume now itself you can skip to the end of this video where i will merge this unallocated space to the c drive now i will remove the recovery partitions so to remove the recovery partitions open command prompt to open the command prompt search cmd there click run as administrator so if you click the run as administrator it will open a command prompt there you need to enter these commands i already done this so i will go over this so first you need to enter the command disk part this will open a interactive shell with disk part and then greater than symbol here you need to type list a disk if this will list all the disk in your system in my case i have four disk disk 0 is my hard disk and disk 1 is my ssd and then disk 2 and disk 3 are external storage select disk 1 because that is the disk which we have mounted now and that is the ssd now to select the disk 1 enter the command select disk 1 after that enter list partitions here you can able to see all the partitions whatever you have seen in the disk manager partition system partition to reserved partition 3 is primary and then partition 4 5 6 are recovery so here in this case you need to delete partition 4 5 1 6 6 enter the command select partition 4 and then to delete this particular partition enter the command delete partition override you will get a message stating this part successfully deleted this selected partition then list partition again now you can able to see the partition 4 is completely deleted now select partition 5 this is an another recovery partition you need to delete so select partition 5 and then enter delete partition override once this partition is successfully deleted you will get the same message disk part successfully deleted the selected partition now i need to select one more partition which is partition 6 need to do the same so select partition 6 and then delete the partition by entering the command delete partition override in your case you might have only one recovery partition so that is completely fine delete that only one recovery partition once you have deleted the recovery partition go to your disk management here right click you can able to see the extend volume click extend volume here once you click the extend volume it will open a new window click next here and then click next and then click finish now we can able to see the c drive has all the space so now from 256 gb we can able to see the total volume is 1.81 tb thanks for watching this video for technical video subscribe to this channel if you felt this video was useful share it with your friends thanks for watching